600 Breezy. Now, 600 Breezy has been overly vocal on social media since the King Von situation. Now, he has been going to war with a lot of folks over this social media and talking a lot of noise about anybody who had any involvement or is connected to anybody who had any involvement with what went down with King Von. And recently, he took to social media to react to that video that everybody's been reacting to. Now, there was another video that was released. I did a whole video about it and I go and I do a breakdown where I talked about the new camera angle and how you can see how things develop. It really shows the beginning of the altercation and you put it with the, the next video and you can see the whole end of the altercation. And 600 Breezy reacted to this video on live on social media. So I wanted to show that reaction and give you my opinion. Now, before we get into the specifics of that, do me a favor, man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about these posts from 600 Breezy. So 600 Breezy took the social media to break down the video the best way that he felt he could. And it was it was actually kind of funny, man. So he said a couple of things. Now, he had a several posts, so let's go through each of them. Now, the first one he had was this post right here. And he added King Von. And he said, first punch, you buckled his little, you know what, Von Jones Jr., Von Tyson, Von St. Pierre, OFN, crying laughing emoji, black heart, blue heart. You know what that means. And basically, he's just saying that, man, Von got them hands or had them hands. Excuse me. Von just had them hands on it, man. And from the video, when you look at it and you see where they, they walked up on, uh, on, on Quando Rondo, allegedly, and he started to swing his things, man. You could tell Vaughn wasn't new to this, man. He he does this. He does he does this, man. It wasn't nothing new to him. And there's a video, man, of P. Rico. And P. Rico was talking on live. And he talked about Vaughn when him and Vaughn was locked up. And basically, he said, man, Vaughn was always in the trenches, man, down to fight. And, man, let me play that video right Create your future as a music producer. Immerse yourself in mixing, mastering, and production to get here. I bet Vaughn ain't ever ran on none of his guys on Joseph. I bet he didn't. Every time it's time to fight, that nigga was fighting on Joseph. Even in the jail when we was in that bitch on my daughter, that man was front center like on Joseph. Like he ain't never ran on nobody. I never saw that man run on nobody, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. When Joseph come, he could talk that. He was talking that shit like he meant. That like he ain't run on his guys on no fighting in jail. None of that shit. Like, when I saw him in real life, that nigga took off his DLC, ready to fight on Joseph. Like, on Joseph Coleman, boy. Like, he ain't never run on nobody. Like, I, that's why I respect him. Now, as you heard from P. Rico's mouth, who, for those of you who don't know, is one of King Von's ops to say, you know, to say the least, man. One of his main ops. And to be honest, man, for him to say that means a lot more than what you would think. But... That kind of backs up what 600 Breezy said, man. Like, you know, Von, it just shows that Von wasn't scared of the, of the conflict, man. And you can see in that video, Von wasn't about hiding. He wasn't about running. And he was trying to face the issue head up. You know what I'm saying? But, man, let me continue with 600 Breezy said as well. So 600 Breezy also posted this right here, which was a video where he pretty much laughed at the fact that Quando Rondo got the beats put on him, allegedly. And he even added Quando Rondo in the post. So let's check that out. <laughs> Folks was beating your bitch ass, boy. Full of y'all some hoes. Folks, first punch, bam. Folks lost his knees. This man said to help. He was beating your ass. As you heard in that very short clip, 600 Breezy was clowning Quando Rondo for losing the fight. He was just putting it out there that, you know, King Von was actually, man, just tearing him up, man. He was, he was actually winning the fight before the whole shooting incident started. And man, it was kind of funny, man, because he's straight clowning Quando Rondo, and you see he tagged him in the post there. It didn't stop there. And 600 Breezy, he also made this post right here, where he basically just put it out there. And I guess he's just talking mess right now. And he said, folks was beating dudes, you know what, with a whole bunch of laughing emojis. And he's just putting it out there that, man, you know, King Von was handling his business as far as with the hands. It's just that, you know, this is a situation with a tragic end. So, I mean, it's it's only so much laughing we can do at this point, I think, man. But, I mean, he was pointing out the fact that, you know, for, for Chicago to get a bad rap 
of always going to shooting first and stuff like that, not being able to use their hands. It's crazy that the Chicago guy in this situation ended up on the bad end for going and using his hands instead of having the shoot first mentality that they've always been known for. Now, 600 Breezy has obviously been the most vocal person. Like, he was the first person to jump out the gate and, you know, pretty much blame 4K TK for this whole thing. But, I mean, that's almost not fair because they did taunt Vaughn after his passing and a lot of members from their team were sneak dissing. And he's kind of stood on it, man. And he's really been out there, you know, speaking for Vaughn on social media where others can't or won't because of different situations that they got going. Now, some cats who are closer to Vaughn, they might not be able to speak on social media because of different legal situations or whatnot. But 600 Breezy, he's got that freedom, you know, to do what he wants. And he's using that uh, that as a crutch so that way he can say whatever he wants about the situation. And I feel him on that, man. And to this point, man, I think most of his appoint his points have been valid. Like everything that he said so far, I can agree with on the most part. Like with the hands thing on the other video that we put out where he talked about the mentality of cats in Chicago and why, you know, they carry guns so often and why they shoot at each other instead of, you know, going to the hands and using King Von's situation as an example. I think all that was 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 agreeable. Everybody can agree with what he said there. Now, him talking Quando Rondo right now seems on, man, seems like a little overkill, especially after his concert got killed with, uh, with Dirk did yesterday. But I understand, man, because Quando Rondo and King Von, man, they used to be cool, like in this video right here, right? They all hanging out, doing whatever. And now you get into a scuffle and one of them's lost their life, man. It's just a bad situation all around, man. And it's not going to get any better with us bringing it up and talking about it, but it does seem like there's oh, there's a couple of mouthpieces on each end that won't let this thing die and are keeping it up until we come to a final closure. Now, what is final closure going to be? Is final closure going to be another sad situation like we got going on right now, or is it going to be different sides depending if it's 4KT, if it's you know everybody repping OTF or anybody repping O Block or whatever? all coming to an agreement that they're going to have to put this thing to bed and just everybody step away from it peacefully and amicably. But man, that's tough when you have a situation where one person is alive and the other has passed away. I mean, we judge these things from the outside looking in, but these folks are very close to each other and they deal with each other every day. And man, Vaughn was feeding a lot of folks, man. Vaughn was feeding half of his hood. And he was always going back to O-Block and doing big things. So it's just crazy to see, man. Now, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that 600 Breezy's doing too much and maybe he's doing a little clout chasing? Or do you think most of his points so far have been spot on? Now, I agree with what he's been doing spot on. And some of it's actually been funny. Now, if you disagree, let me know in the comments. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and do me a favor. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop this hot content and we out of here.